Things are so much better now. I mean, when I first started, the only women at a feed yard in Arizona in the 70s was the secretaries in the office. And for a woman to be working cattle out in the yards, that was just unheard of. Now you got lots of women working in feed yards. My name is Temple Grandin. I am professor of animal science at Colorado State University. I teach a class in livestock behavior and handling. And one of the things that really turns me on is getting students just turned on to learning new things. I'm gonna step into this animal and I'm gonna walk by it. I had one student, this, this lady worked in the feed yard. Out at Ardak, I showed her the very, a very simple little thing where you walk back by cattle to get them go forward in the chute and they go in. And then she came back from her feed yard job the following week. She said she tried it and it worked. And that made me really happy. I think it's very important for students to read deeply. And I'm very concerned that people are reading less and less deeply. When I have students do my internet project, they pick out a narrow subject in animal behavior, but they're gonna to have to dig deep because they gotta give me eight journal articles off of four different scientific databases. And then I wanna summarize in a simple half page what was the bottom line of those studies? What did you learn from it? One big thing I emphasized in my first class is I want to get students to be better observers. It's really important to be observant when you're working with animals because an animal will give you a warning before he bites or kicks. I want students to go out and be successful in good careers. And if I had something to do with that, that makes me really happy.